Now, what do you do here at Featherdale um, to help protect the koala in the wild? Primarily, we educate. Um, whether you live in Australia or overseas, I think that there's this whole sense of security about the koala that, you know, they're on every logo or in every photo of Australia, so people just presume that they're common, and it's just not the fact. They're abundant. Yeah, That's right. Which, which, they're under huge pressures on them, whether or not you're talking about the koalas that are up in Queensland mm -hmm. or the ones in South Australia. The pressures are different, but they're very real. We have the largest breeding population of koalas in New South Wales, mm -hmm. and we take that very seriously. So Some of these areas where you never actually historically found koalas, they were introduced, and they're now in abundance mm -hmm. there. So yeah, it's almost as you travel north, mm -hmm. they get scarcer and scarcer, mm -hmm. and a lot of that has to do with habitat destruction, isolation of populations, and therefore pressure just being heaped on top. Oh, wow, and what can our viewers at home do to help? That's a great question. Um, a lot of the problems that koalas have are due to pressures from people. So 